losing $216 trading Netflix. What's going on, guys? Welcome on into a, another trade recap. So I closed out of this Netflix trade. Um, we have this right here, which we lost like $25.76 um, that I realized like a lot. I closed that out here on Friday. Uh, I didn't have to close it out, but you'll understand what I'm talking about here in a second. Uh, and then you have to go back to the um, 20th of September right here when we have the other two Netflix uh, positions. And if you go back to those, let me go back to this right here so you can see it easier. Um, we lost 54.32 and 135.80. So it comes out to about 215.88. The reason why we have the positions um, twice is because on September 21st, the prop firm that I'm using for the, that I was holding the Netflix trade in, um, glitch. And so what they did or what happened was essentially at 5 a.m., 5.15 a.m., something like that on Saturday morning, I get an email saying you breach your account. And I go, guys, I email them back, guys, how the fuck could I breach my account at 5 a.m. on a Saturday? Market's been closed for many hours, over 12 hours. What do we, and this, cause this has happened before. Um, so they reinstated the account Monday, had to re-enter the trade and then get back in. And so that's why it was twice. So technically speaking, I was down already on the position, but it didn't hit my stop loss. And then I re-entered and then I closed the rest of it out for an additional loss, not by much, but I closed the rest of it out today. Um, technically didn't hit my stop loss, but you're going to see why I got out of it. Um, so that's the deal. Uh, currently the stats on the month, we have one open position right now, which is Roku. Other than that, everything else is closed. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't, unless we have a really big or really, really red day on Monday, the 30th. I just don't, I don't think we're going to be moving much. Uh, I guess I could day trade. I probably won't cause I'm going to be getting home late, late Sunday night. Um, so I just, you know, this is a very good chance that this is going to be the final tally for the month of September. Um, so we'll see, but it's up 500 bucks. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, here's Netflix. This is a trade that I really wanted on the bigger time frames, the weekly time frames. I was targeting up here towards 755. I was originally risking down towards 788, which would be the lows that we had right in here. I moved my stop loss up to 700 and then we closed underneath this breakout point that I want to see us push above 710, 711. And we just didn't, we just didn't close great. We didn't close bad. Like these lower wicks catch me like thinking like, yeah, we could go next week, but I can always re-enter if I really wanted to next week. I just don't like the, it just, it just no momentum. Um, here's the weekly time frame. I like the weekly time frame. It just that we could not close above the breakout point on the weekly. This also is an all time high push. So uh, from back to 2021, uh, you know, that's where Netflix was up here near 700 bucks. So I thought the push over 700, boom, we just aren't getting the push, not getting the follow through. And it's not surprising because the market conditions right now, we are not getting the follow through. We are not getting that push. We had a good 10 days in the middle of the month. And then now the final pet piece of the month, there's not happening. Maybe next week, maybe into October. I don't know. It's just not happening right now. So I felt like, you know what, with an over, with a weekend risk, I just don't, I don't need, just in case, you know, what if all of a sudden this weekend there's a massive shit, you know, shit show that happens, war breaks out, something, someone says that, I, you know, who knows, like something happens, Jerome Powell, like something crazy happens with him. Yeah, you know, of course, nothing is scheduled to happen, but you never know. There's always overnight risk or over, over the weekend risk. So I was like, you know what, let's just close it out. Uh, we can always get back in next week. You know, obviously there's gap up risk too, but you know, let's just close it out and we'll reconsider next week. I just don't like how it's playing. It's just, it's obviously not closing strong, no momentum. It's not really a momentum trade at this point, you know, so that's what I decided to do. Um, so we took the L and that's it. Uh, with the bigger picture though, like, you know, I just, you know, we had a couple good wins and then other than that, it's been 32% win rate. So you can kind of see how not, not as bad as last month, but it's like, for me, how I do things, man, if I get a 40 plus percent win rate, we are in business. Like we are cranking. Like we got the, we got the printer and we're just like fucking go. That's kind of how, that's kind of how I feel based off how I manage my risk. You know, I, whether you like it, you don't like it. I don't, doesn't matter. The the way I do it, and for those who are maybe someone who's watched this new, I've gotten some people who've commented stuff in the past, you know, on some recaps in the past, like going back. Cause you know, when I tag a stock and whatever, you could type in te Tesla, Netflix, whatever, and it might, this might come up. And so if that's you in the case of this situation, 
these are, I trade one way, I trade one strategy. Uh, it is the same up and the same down. If we're going up or down, depends upon the overall market momentum and how I, how I am reading that. But right now we are in a bullish environment. I am not really looking to trade to the downside unless we start seeing some, some negative days and then establish some backside. I keep it simple. And what happens is, and I've gotten really comfortable now, like with this, because I've gone through a lot of, of uh, weeks of wanting to rip my hair out because we go through periods. I, I've become like at peace with this. You go through periods where it's momentum, it's freaking, you know, pushing the pedal or pushing the pace, markets ripping, whatever, or, you know, other stocks or sectors are going. And then you go through periods where we're kind of in a rotation and it's like choppy and we're not getting clear direction or we kind of have clear direction. It's going up, but it's not super consistent. We're not getting like, you know, follow through. And those are the times where I tend to take a back seat. I sit back, I do other stuff. I work on other things, other projects, other stuff I have going on. And uh, I try to trade less. So right now, as much as I would like want to trade, like, oh, I want to fucking make more. That was me in the past. I'm trying to do a better job of not falling into that trap and just letting the bigger picture play out on the bigger picture swings if I have some. And then now resetting and looking for other stuff. I see nothing that's like super pressing right now, but maybe next week we start seeing some setups. The market starts to, you know, starts to move a bit. And now all of a sudden a couple alerts go off that I've got set and, you know, we're good. We're ready to go. So we'll see. I think the biggest missed opportunity, which I'll talk more about in the monthly recap, the biggest missed opportunity was probably the NASDAQ trade that we had a break even. That trade should have been a 300 or 285 plus dollar profit, which, you know, would have added to this tally and, you know, we would have been feeling pretty decent about the month. Otherwise, you know, there's some other minor mistakes at the beginning of the month and stuff, but I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's not bad uh, given the, the conditions. I think the beginning of the month was kind of tr- was tough and then the middle of the month was good for me, how I trade my strategy. And then the end of the month has just been like, eh. so managing that, you know, it is what it is. Um, that's the recap. I will leave a link to Tradezilla below this, this platform where I track everything. TC 10 saves you 10%. If you are interested, I pay full price. I'll see you guys in the next one. I am off to Tampa. Go birds. See ya.